Now let's take a look at desktop wallets. These software wallets are another great way to store your cryptocurrency. Some desktop wallets offer cold storage features and even give you the ability to integrate with hardware wallets such as the Trezor. A desktop wallet is a great wallet to use to make online purchases using your cryptocurrency. For long-term storage, I still prefer using a hardware wallet, but desktop wallets are still better than holding cryptocurrency on an online exchange in my opinion. To use a desktop wallet, simply install the wallet application onto your computer and you can easily manage your cryptocurrency portfolio. Desktop wallets are great for beginners since they are user friendly and easy to set up and navigate. Official desktop wallets can typically be found on each coin's official website. Although there are many great established software wallets available, I recommend only using the wallets found on the official websites for each cryptocurrency to help reduce potential third party risk. For example, verified desktop wallets for Bitcoin can be found at Bitcoin.org. So let's head over to Bitcoin.org and take a look at how to download, set up, and transfer cryptocurrency to a desktop wallet. So here's Bitcoin.org's homepage. It has a lot of resources and tools for people just getting started with Bitcoin. So to check out the desktop wallets, let's go up to the introduction tab, then click on getting started. Here you can see four simple steps on how to use Bitcoin. First you inform yourself, then you choose a wallet, then you get your Bitcoin, then you spend your Bitcoin. Let's click on choose a wallet. Here's where you can choose the type of Bitcoin wallet you want to use. You can choose from a desktop wallet, a hardware wallet, a mobile wallet, or a web wallet. Since we're talking about desktop wallets, let's go over to the desktop tab. I'm using a Mac right now, so I'm going to click on Mac. The icons at the bottom are all the different wallets that you can choose from. I've heard some pretty good things about Electrum in that it's a fast and lightweight wallet for your desktop. Let's check this one out. Some desktop wallets can actually take up a lot of storage space, so make sure you read the specs before you download a wallet. It says here that Electrum's focus is speed and simplicity with a low resource usage. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Similar to a hardware wallet, this desktop wallet also allows you to create a seed code that allows you to recover your cryptocurrency if needed. So in order to download the Electrum desktop wallet, let's click on visit website. From here, let's go up and click the download tab. With any important software or wallet, always make sure you keep it updated. You always want to make sure you have the latest version for any security patches. So now I'm going to go down to the easy installation box. And I'm going to select OSX so I can download the desktop wallet onto my Mac laptop. The application should automatically start downloading after you click the link. Once it's finished downloading, I'm going to go ahead and open up the file. Once the file loads up and opens, you should see a window pop up with the Electrum icon. In order to complete the installation and open up Electrum, you may have to update your security preferences. To do this, I'm going to look at the top left of my desktop. Click on the Apple, then go to System Preferences. From here, you want to click on Security and Privacy. If you look at the bottom left of this box, you'll see a little lock icon. Click this lock in order to make changes. You may be asked to put in your password to verify your identity, and now you can make changes. I'm going to change my settings to allow apps to be downloaded from anywhere. I can change this back later. Now that that's finished, let's try finishing installing Electrum. Let's verify I want to open this application. I'm going to select to let it automatically connect to the cryptocurrency servers. And now you can create your wallet. Go ahead and select a name if you wish. For the wallet type, I'm just going to select standard wallet. And next you have your key store where you can create a new seed for your wallet. Make sure you select create a new seed and click next. For the seed type, I'm just going to select standard. The next screen will display your new 12 word seed that was just generated for your wallet. The seed is the only way to recover your cryptocurrency, so never disclose your seed, never type it on a website, and don't store it electronically. On the next screen, you'll be asked to confirm your seed by retyping it into the screen. After you confirm your seed, go ahead and click next. Here's where you can create a password for your desktop wallet. Make sure you make a password that somebody won't easily guess. Once you click next, your wallet will be created and Electrum will generate your addresses. So here's the Electrum desktop wallet dashboard. It's simple and very easy to use. If you look at the three tabs up top, you can see the transaction history, you can send cryptocurrency or receive cryptocurrency. 
So now that we got everything set up, let's go over the steps to add some cryptocurrency to our wallet. Sending and receiving cryptocurrency for any wallet type is pretty much the same. I'm going to transfer some Bitcoin from my Coinbase account to my new Electrum wallet. So let's copy this receiving address in order to send the Bitcoin. Once I copy the receiving address, I'm going to head over to my Coinbase account. From the Coinbase dashboard, I'm going to look up at the top menu and click on the accounts tab. Since the receiving address we're using is for Bitcoin, I'm going to go to my Bitcoin wallet. From here, let's click the send button. Here's where you can input the information to send some Bitcoin to your Electrum wallet. I'm going to start by pasting in the receiving address I got from the desktop wallet. And then I can simply select the amount of Bitcoin I want to send. I think I'm just going to send $10 for this example. That comes out to about 0 0.00108 Bitcoins with a network fee of $3.48. So my total comes out to $13.48 worth of Bitcoin. Let's go ahead and click continue. Then confirm the purchase. And there we have it. My transaction is on the way. Let's head back over to my desktop wallet and make sure it sees the transaction. So one cool thing about the Electrum desktop wallet is that you'll receive notifications when you receive or send Bitcoin. You can see an example notification at the top right of the screen here for the transaction I just made. So if I click on the history tab, I can see there is one unconfirmed transaction coming into my Electrum wallet. Looks like everything went smoothly and my Bitcoin should arrive shortly. So that's it for setting up a desktop wallet and adding cryptocurrency. I'll see you in the next lecture.